I think 2021 is going to be one of the best years for aspiring self-taught programmers, better than any year in the past. And this might be a little bit controversial because we're going through a pandemic technically still at the moment. The economy has suffered a lot. And so it's really easy to be all doom and gloom. But for me, I'm always looking for any evidence I can that there still is possibilities of getting hired as a self-taught programmer. And recently, I got a little bit of good news from a survey from codengame.com. And if you have never heard of codengame.com, it's a technical assessment platform. So you may have gone for an interview and use this platform. You may have done coding challenges on it, but they do a survey every year of developers and also of HR professionals. So those people who hire software developers on a range of different questions. And there are some interesting things that came out of that survey that I'm gonna to cover to show you that there is evidence out there that people are still hiring self-taught programmers and that the outlook is very good this year. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. The first part of this survey that really stood out to me is a section where it says that 80% of HR professionals that they surveyed said that they would hire people with non-academic backgrounds. So just to be clear about what that means is that 80% of the people who do the hiring and that they surveyed so they do hire people without college degrees, without any academic background, no boot camp. That means that they're open to people who have self-taught. So while it's very tempting, if you're learning this on your own, to think that you won't be taken seriously by recruiters when you actually get out there and start applying for jobs, the fact is that people are open to it. And from my experience, the reason that they're open to it is because just because you have a school next to your name in your resume doesn't mean that you can come in and actually do the work as a programmer. Schools struggle to stay up to the learning curve of software development and programming. Programming is moving at light speed. There's new frameworks coming all the, out all the time. It's just very hard for schools to even find the talent to teach this in a way that really teaches students how to become software developers. It's great to learn all the theory, it's great to learn computer science, and certainly that will help you in your path to become a software developer. But ultimately what a company wants is for you to come on board and be able to do the work without a ton of hand-holding, right? Just throw you in and say, okay, we'll give you help, but ultimately they're not gonna teach you how to code on the job because they're gonna pay you good money for it. So going into this, that was the best thing that I heard is that 80% of the people they surveyed said they're open to it, so that's fantastic. The second thing that just jumped out when I was going through the survey was that nearly two thirds of the HR professionals that they surveyed said they were hiring 11 or more developers in the coming year, at least that they had plans to do that. And that goes back to the question of like, are there actually people getting hired this year? Has the pandemic killed the job market? Are there just too many software developers out there? Well, clearly no, there's still people who are hiring people who are looking for 11 or more developers at their company, which is crazy to me that that's the case. So if you're wondering how things are going, there are still indications that people are hiring. I'm not trying to say that the job market is perfect or that you're guaranteed to get a job, far from that. But what I am saying is that there is evidence out there that companies are still hiring, that software development is still something that you can get into, and this is just another piece of evidence that that's the case. By the way, if you wanna increase the likelihood of you becoming a self-taught programmer, then what you wanna do is go down below here and smash the like button as it's proven to make it more likely that you're going to become a software developer this year. By the way, if you're also looking to get more videos from me, where if you know this channel, all I do is talk about self-taught programming, then go ahead and also hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell icon so you get videos anytime that I put out a new video. So the third thing that I found as I was going through the survey that was really interesting to me is that companies really struggle to find qualified candidates to fill those developer positions. And this does link up a lot with my experience of working for companies. At both companies I've worked at, they were always looking for new candidates to fill their roles. We needed new software developers. But what we found is that either we found qualified candidates, but anyone who was qualified had other options, right? So they were looking at other companies and we were just one of the many that they were considering. So maybe other companies threw more money at them, more benefits, whatever it was or we were looking at less qualified candidates and many of them just had too many holes in their technical skills or we didn't really trust that they could do the work. Like we didn't see a lot of projects that they were doing on their own. They couldn't explain what they've done, how we could trust them that they could do the work when they come in. So I totally could see how this is the case. And more than anything else, I think if you're worried that the market is oversaturated, when I hear something like this, that there's just, they're unable to find qualified candidates, that tells me that sure, maybe many people are looking to become software developers, but so many of them rarely get to that level, that like minimum threshold to actually get the first job. So it should be encouraging to you. I think the reason so many people don't get qualified enough is they don't really know what to do. They aren't disciplined enough to do the work every day. They don't have somebody who can kind of guide them and tell them what they need to be doing, which 
is a massive help if you're learning to do this on your own. And by the way, the, if you look at other parts of the survey that corroborate this, most of the developers they surveyed are very confident they get a job if they went somewhere else. So this just tells me that there is still lots of opportunity, that companies are really, they're dying to get people into software development, but ultimately there's just a lack of people who get qualified enough to do this, who can pass a technical assessment, who can prove that they can come in and don't need a lot of handholding. They don't need to be babied when they are in that junior developer role or just as a new developer. So so I hope this video has been encouraging for you. I, I think that 2021 can be the year that so many people get into this more than many years past, but ultimately you have to put in the work, you have to be consistent, and you have to push through those hard times when you're struggling to learn things or when you feel like you're being overwhelmed, which is the hardest part in my opinion. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. And by the way, before I head out here, if you have committed to the path of becoming a software developer this year and you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one in my mentorship program to make that dream a reality, then I'm gonna leave some details in the description below of how you can go about doing that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. As always, peace out.